Hey everyone, it's Jay Kitchen from jaysbeard.com. I hope you're doing really well today. We're going to be doing a review of something that a lot of people have fallen in love with over the years. We're going to be talking about the Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford. Check out the bottle. Before we get into the review, if you'd be so kind as to smash the subscribe and the thumbs up button, we would really, really appreciate it. The notifications bell as well. Both of these or all three of these things help us get into other people's suggested video feeds and get more eyes on us. Thank you. We really appreciate it. The Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford is semi-classified as a citrus aromatic fragrance for men and women. It was launched in 2011. The nose behind this fragrance is Rodrigo Flores Rue. The top notes are bergamot, mandarin orange, lemon, bitter orange, lavender, rosemary, and myrtle. The middle notes are African orange flower, neroli, jasmine, and pitosporum. The base notes are amber, angelica, and ambrette, also known as musk mallow. LuckyScent.com has this to say about this cologne. Like a bespoke white shirt, Neroli Portofino takes the classic citrus-driven lightness of the Eau de Cologne formula and amps up the quality as its ingredients, and as a result, their fit on the skin. It opens with a luscious burst of Neroli and layers of citrus notes, including bergamot, lemon, and pitosporum, with its heady jasmine and orange blossom-like bouquet. It then accents this bouquet with green and dusky herbs, including rosemary and lavender. This burst of freshness is warmed by an understated woody and amber base. Neroli Portofino doesn't reinvent the Eau de Cologne wheel, but it does take it for a spin along the winding roads of the Italian Riviera. It is a summer or warm weather scent without a doubt. Now I sprayed this on at about 6.30 this morning, drove around until about one o'clock in the afternoon, and I could still smell it on the site where I sprayed it. I sprayed it on this arm, on the bottom, and on the top. It was still smelling. It didn't have a lot of projection. It was definitely a skin scent by the end of that time period. I just reapplied some and I'm going to spray a little bit in the room. This is a decant from Lucky Scent. I'm going to do a little room spray, <laughs> more like a face spray, and then I'm going to hit the top of my arm again. Let that dry out a little bit. The price point on this for a 100 ml is $365. That is the retail list price. I just went on jomashop.com. They've got it for $2.25 after the use of some sort of coupon, which leads me to believe that it is available at more than one discounter. And it comes in 50 ml, 100 ml, and then obviously you can get decants from various suppliers and, and companies out there. The fresh scent, you definitely get a citrus kind of splash. Is it the neroli, neroli, neroli? You know, I get that orange blossom smell to a certain extent, but it actually, the combination of all these notes, it smells like the beach. It's a very aquatic, salt watery kind of scent. It is a, almost smells like your skin after you've applied some sort of suntan lotion. Now I know that sounds kind of weird and I've seen that in the comments from various civilian type reviewers. It's a really nice scent. I just don't see myself spending the kind of money on this because it really, I mean, it turned into a skin scent, which is fine. I have no problem with that. And you know, probably if I wanted a Neroli that smelled or a real oceanic fragrance, this is a really good one. It really is. It's, it's honestly, it's probably the best oceanic scent that I've smelled so far. You know, the Rolfa from Creed, is supposed to evoke memories or images of sailing on the Mediterranean, which is a salt water body. Nah, I didn't get that from that. This, I definitely get a ocean 
beachside vacation in the warm weather, whether it's our summer or the South American or lower hemisphere summer. I don't know and I don't care, but it's a very beachy kind of scent. And I have a feeling in the warm weather, the longevity and projection of this will be more pronounced. I, I don't know why I think that. I think the heat may do something to it. We'll retest it on one of the hotter days this coming summer. You give it a run. It's only about 55, not even 60 degrees outside yet, so it's still chillish. It's a very nice scent. I'm not really in love with it, like a lot of people really are. I mean, people swear by this Tom Ford Neroli Portofino, like this is the only scent that they will ever put on their bodies. Now, maybe it's my body chemistry. I don't know. It is a very nice scent. It's got a nice beach nose to it. And I would recommend if you like this kind of thing, definitely check out a decant. Get, you know, a 2 ml sprayer for, I don't know, this maybe, maybe it was 12 or $13. That is a worthwhile investment before you drop 200 to 350 bucks on a bottle of cologne perfume that you may not like the way it smells on your body. And there are plenty of big ticket high-end department stores at their fragrance counters they will be carrying this and you can check it out i hope you enjoyed the review if you did please smash the thumbs up if you didn't smash the thumbs down please tell us why on both accounts don't forget to be kind to our fellow human beings and their animals stay lifted stay well groomed stay smelling awesome and we will catch you on the next one don't forget we love you cheers everybody